This is Green Tech Media's Five Questions, the 2014 Solar Summit Edition. I'm Stephen Lacey, Senior Editor at Green Tech Media here in Phoenix, Arizona, and we're sitting down with industry executives to hear what's happening in their area of the solar market. I'm joined now by Peter Matthews, who's the General Manager of North America for Solar Edge. Peter, good to see you. How are you doing? Great to be here. Thank you. You bet. And uh, Solar Edge has become one of the top three uh, inverter suppliers for the residential market here in the U.S. What's contributed to that? Solar Edge is uh, one of the uh, players in the module over power electronics uh, segment of PV and uh, certainly from the reports that you guys have published it's a very very fast growing market. Last year 2013 uh, over a gigawatt was deployed in module over power electronics around the world and uh, two gigawatts in total now uh, since the uh, really the beginning of the industry about uh, six years ago. It's um, dominated really by two technologies, microinverters and DC optimized uh, uh, inverters. And we are uh, the um, major player in the DC optimization segment with about 80% market share. And so why optimizers? Why are people choosing that technology? What specifically contributed to your growth as a company? First of all, the, the people making selections for inverters are typically uh, installers. And when they look at SolarEdge, they see three things. First thing that they see is they can generate more revenue. Uh, you generate more revenue by producing more energy. So a module level power electronics component can generate uh, more harvest uh, from that roof. Second reason is we reduce the expenses of the installer. Uh, the way you reduce their expenses by uh, simplifying the design, giving them more of the roof area to put modules. We uh, allow them to increase the string lengths so they can put more modules uh, on one string. And uh, lastly, we reduce their risks, okay, by giving them low voltage DC, okay, through what's known as our safe DC feature. And uh, we give them the ability to O&M their system in real time from anywhere on the planet down to the module level. And then reliability, of course, is a huge factor as the, the project is in operation. How are you thinking about reliability on the roof itself? So SolarEdge has, has developed a very, very unique architecture whereby we're putting really a minimal amount of electronics on the roof. Basically one ASIC and a few discrete components that's doing all of the voltage control and the communications with each module. And then we put a very simplified uh, string inverter uh, on the side of the home or inside the garage that is that single point of interface to the outside world. So the last five years have just been an extraordinary time for the evolution of power electronics uh, and the inverter space itself. What's driving the biggest change in your opinion in the market? Well I'd say the first big driver is speed of innovation. Um, inverters have been around a long, uh, a long time but what you're seeing now is uh, new companies, new technologies coming into the inverter space. Really inverter is now becoming the central hub of the B PV system. In the past People really only talked about modules. Today, it's really about the inverter. The second trend we see is certainly the increasing um, saturation of PV in certain markets. And uh, the uh, requirements now for the inverter to deal with next generation requirements, whether it's next generation uh, NEC codes or saturation requirements in, in certain states that are popping up, the inverter is the key component to deal with those types of issues. So how are you thinking about those codes in terms of design? I mean, regulation is a huge piece of the evolution of you know, how these inverters are actually made. How does that factor into the, the way you're thinking about future design? The first thing is we have, uh, we, again, we've come to the U.S. with an inverter that has been proven in, uh, in Europe. And Europe uh, has led the world with requiring inverters to have basically smart grid features built in, whether those are low voltage ride through or their ability to remotely curtail or to power factor the inverter or to remotely um, alter the performance of the inverter. So SolarEdge has that built into our inverter. So if you look at the, the changing requirements, NEC 2011 required the inverter to have uh, arc fault detection built in the inverter. That was a major challenge for all the inverter manufacturers, we basically had it built in, so we didn't have any development required. And now with uh, the NEC 2014 coming into now 15 states in the U.S. have already adopted the code, that has a very unique requirement that uh, as soon as there is an event at a home, the inverter must basically disconnect between the array on the roof 
and the inverter on the side of the home.